we are celebrating 25 years of NBC 10 all week. We're taking a look back at the last quarter century. And this morning, NBC 10's Keith Jones goes into our archive for some of the most memorable stories that we have covered. This is News 10 Premier Edition. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Chenault. And I'm Ken Matson. You are watching History in the Making. NBC 10 was brand new in September of 1995, committed to serving our community. And a few months in, we'd be tested. This is the area, and you can see in the red, that's the blizzard warning, in effect. Our new meteorologist named Glenn Hurricane Schwartz forecasted a record-breaking blizzard. Seeing me for the blizzard in 96, it was in some cases the first time people had ever seen me. And then you associate that with the biggest storm ever and with having the best forecast for it and that really made a tremendous difference. The severe weather soon made a turn for the worse. And he was right. All told, the storm dropped about 30 inches of snow in Philadelphia, a record that still stands measured by retired reporter Terry Ruggles. It had us paralyzed for, for weeks. In 1997, a scandal involving Philadelphia police stole national headlines. Revealing patterns of brutality and corruption involving hundreds of cases and leading to more than a hundred prisoners being released. What it was was uh, these uh, four cops who were uh, uh, taking uh, victims or dead people's things or going into houses on investigations. And it started years and years ago. It just it reached its pinnacle uh, in, in 97. And we covered every major development as the city was ready to turn the page and enter a new uncertain millennium. Who remembers Y2K? Steve Schwade, our news director, was so worried that something was going to happen, some meltdown, some computer malfunction, that all of us, all of us, everyone at NBC 10 was not allowed to have the day before, the day of, or the day after off. And we were there for you during one of our country's darkest moments when planes hit the World Trade Center towers. Retired reporter Luann Kahn was in our newsroom. Everyone's just kind of frozen, trying to figure out what just happened. Was this an accident? You know, the pilot died or got lost, went into the tower and the neck. And as I'm standing here, the second plane goes into the tower. And then it was like, everybody run. You're going to New York. You're going here. You're going there. Terry Ruggles made his way to ground zero. I went to the path station where all the emergency crews were going through, and I just figured I would play dumb with my cameraman and act like I belong there. And we came up at ground zero, and, and, and there it was. While others stayed back. We just thought that, you know, Philadelphia was next. It was an eerie feeling. That was the biggest story. And a decade before Bill Cosby was led in and out of the Montgomery County Courthouse. The investigators say they are troubled at the fact it took the woman a year to come forward. Our NBC 10 investigative reporter Harry Hairston was the first in the nation to report on the sexual misconduct allegations that would eventually lead to the comedian's charges. I was happy that the fact that the system was working and if this man will have his day in court and if this man did exactly what he's being accused of, that he needs to be held accountable for it. A lot to remember over the last 25 years. Wow. And tomorrow morning, we'll look at another round of memorable stories. And our series continues this afternoon on NBC 10 News at 5. When Channel 10 switched donors back in September of 1995, there was a lot of confusion. Viewers were looking for their favorite shows and newscasts. Well, today at 5, NBC 10's Tim Furlong talks to NBC 10 legends about that confusion and why people still ask him about it today. It's true we get those questions, and we're happy to answer that we're here on NBC 10. NBC 10. That's how it works. 